Shalom, and uh, welcome back to the follow-up of uh, Elder Taha's um, lesson. Uh, we're going to go into um, scriptures, which, uh, you know, is going to break down the reason why you have certain guys falling out, all right, falling out of the, the different camps. It's like Elder Taha mentioned, you know, he mentioned a few camps where guys are just falling off. Well, that's scriptural, all right, and we have a list of scriptures here, which we're going to go into, and hopefully through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we're going to break it down so you can uh, understand it. All right, all right, go on. Uh, this is Matthew chapter thirteen, verse one. The same day went Yahweh out of the house and sat by the seaside, and great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore, and he spake many things unto them in parables, saying. Behold, a sower went forth to sow. Right, so this is a parable that Yahweh Shai is about to teach. And uh, it's prophesied in the Old Testament that Yahweh Shai would speak in parables because this truth is not meant for everybody. All right, go on. And when he had sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had n not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, excuse me, and when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some in hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Right, so that's the parable. And you notice in the ninth verse, Yahushua said, Who have ears to hear, let him hear. Why, why did he say that? Because it's not meant for everybody. All right? Just like Elder Tar said in the first lesson, this truth ain't for everybody. All right? Go on. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Now remember, Yahweh was teaching a large group of people. But then it says the disciples, which at that time was what? Twelve. They came unto him and asked him to break down the parable. So all those people that were listening to the parable before, did they get the understanding of it? No. All right? But the, but the disciples are about to get the understanding. Go on. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. So that, though, that them was the group of people that was listening to Yahweh Shai. It wasn't given unto them to understand. That's why Yahweh Shai didn't break it down to them. But he's about to break it down to the twelve, the disciples. Go on. For whosoever hath to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken away even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing you shall hear and shall not understand, and seeing you shall see and shall not perceive. And you know what that 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 breaks uh that uh, knocks that philosophy of Jesus Christ died for everybody. Jesus Christ came for everybody. And if I may, this all, that also knocks uh, the theory of you guys out there that's talking about you. When, when a Jake comes up, you just got to teach any any Jake that comes up. You don't got to teach anybody that just comes up. What did what did John the Baptist say? He said, "Bring forth, bring forth fruits, meat for repentance." Meat for repentance. Why did he say that? Because not all Israel's is going to get this. So in the spirit, if you perceive somebody is, is not right, they're not going to receive it. You don't have to teach them nothing. That's, right. That's why Yahweh Shai spoke to the people in parables. But there was other times when he had compassion on the people, but he still spoke to them in parables because the majority of them weren't going to get it. Right. And uh, like I said, pursuant to the book of Isaiah, the 49th chapter, it tells you that Yahweh Shai would open up his mouth and other parables. Yes. So he had to speak in parables to fulfill that prophecy. That's why it's written in Hebrews 10 and 7, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. So everything that was written of Yahweh Shai, he did it. Even to the uh, point when he was on the cross, when the, the very last words he said, it is finished. All right, so it was all prophecy that had to be fulfilled. Go on. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing. And that's Lahab. All right, he fits that. His, his ears is wax gross and is dull of hearing. Go on. And their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Right, and that's why Lahab ain't, ain't going to get the truth. Right. 
like the the show um, Elder Taha did before was concerning Lahab. He ain't going to get the truth because the Most High don't want to convert him and the Most High don't want to heal him. Right. All right, there's a reason why he has the name Lahab, <laughs> which means blaze. He's going to be set ablaze, man. And then and then his lesson was about uh, not keeping the Passover. Well, even if he tried to keep the Passover, it's of no to, uh, avail to him because he ain't going to be delivered. What was the festival of the Passover? What was the meaning of it? To be delivered. Pass over. So in, in a sense, essence, man, the Lord is going to pass over him. Right. Yeah, because the, the, the blood that was shed of the lamb, that was uh, to, uh, for the, um, the, the uh, angel of death, which was Yahweh Shai, to pass over Israel right. and not to, to destroy Israel. Exactly. Now, this time around, the, the, the blood, which is Yahweh Shai's blood, which is Yahweh Shai's blood this time, which is, he's the sacrificial lamb this time, it, it was shed for the, for, those, uh, for the elect of Israel to be delivered. And Lahab is not going to get it. Right. And now Lahab, he already did all types of dirt back in the main school for years, was doing all types of dirt. The Most High is going to judge him for that. Now he's coming for a second helping. Right. He's coming for a second helping now. You know, because not only is he going to get uh, judged for the stuff that he did back then, but now he's, he's, he's heaping up more uh, uh, transgressions upon himself by telling people that they're not supposed to keep the laws. So he, 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 got, he got a serious judgment coming to him. Yeah, he's just, uh, like the scriptures say, he's just uh, uh, chalking up that iniquity. All right? That's all he's doing. Go on. But blessed are your eyes, for they see. And he's going to take a few, he's going to take a lot of guys with him. Yep. All right? And that's why Yahweh said, let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. What is that ditch? Those nuclear missiles. So Lahab, all, all, Lahab, all the people that's following Lahab, he's appointed, uh, they're appointed, I'm sorry, they're appointed to follow him to their destruction. All right? Yeah, bring it up. This is Second Peter's, Second Peter's chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. But there were false prophets also among the people. Yeah, like Lahab. All right? Not just Lahab. In our years of being in this truth, we've seen many false prophets. All right? Go on. Even as there shall be false teachers among you. Yeah, like Lahab. Who privately shall bring in damnable heresies. Right, and that started with, that thing with Lahab is nothing new. Right. That goes way back. That's an old wound, man. Right. Lahab was bringing in, secretly bringing in those damnable heresies yep. to the point now where he's just totally bugged out. Mm -hmm. All right? He's got 14 parts of madness uh, uh, in that video that he did. 14 parts, <laughs> all right, of, 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 of vain jangling, <laughs> like, yeah, the, right. like the scripture says. Yeah. Vain jangling. Go on. Even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And that's what he's going to do. Now, denying the Lord. How do you deny the Lord? Well, let's start with his name. If you're not teaching the name of Yahweh Shai, guess what? You are denying the Lord. Right. It tells you in the book of Acts, there is no other name whereby men can be saved. That name is Yahweh Shai. So if you deny that name, you're denying the Lord. And if you deny the Lord, what did the Lord say? He that deny me to my father, I will deny him. All right? So don't expect to be saved if you're not teaching the name of the Lord and not uh, following that name. Go on. It says, and many shall follow their pernicious ways. Yeah, like those guys that they have. One guy, he sounds like a damn, like a damn total yes man, you know, a robot. Can I read this, love? You know, that, that, that guy. All right? <laughs> Go on. And many shall follow their pernicious ways. Yeah, like that guy. He's following Lahab's pernicious ways. Go on. By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of and through covetousness shall they with feigned words yeah feigned words like if you don't know the truth and you listen to the lahab you 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 be swayed into that madness go on and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not right whose lingereth not and your, your judgment is coming, Lahab. And those guys that follow you, the judgment is also coming for them too. Go on. It says, and, and their damnation slumbereth not. Right. Now go from there, um, Ecclesiastes, unless you have a, a 8 and 11, is it? Yeah. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, then you have a precept. Bring it out. Because like I said, Lahab, all Lahab is doing is uh, leading certain men to their destruction. We already know Lahab is going to be destroyed. 
And even I'm going to let you in on a secret. Even Lahab knows he's going to be destroyed because years ago he, he told he told uh, Elder Tahar when we when we ran into his his black ass, he said, then let the most high deal with me, okay? That's exactly what he said. Because we, we, it was five of us, and we, and we ran into him in, at uh, Sam's Club. All right? And then Elder Tar was bringing it to him, boy. And then when he walked away, I said, yeah, look at you wearing all that black. And then, um, um, no, I'm sorry, Elder Rakar said, no, Elder Rakar said, oh, yeah, where's your central command now? Because he set up, at the old school, he set up something called Central Command. And what was Central Command? Basically, uh, uh, an, a vehicle to rip brothers off. Yep. That's what it was. Extortion. And the scriptures speak about extortionists. Right. That's what Lahab was. He was a, a, a fucking extortioner. Go on. Yeah, and, and he was a super tyrant back then, you know, in the, in the main school. He was a super tyrant, right? He was ripping brothers off. And now you got these niggas now, you know, uh, that, that are saying that, well, back then we was making like, uh, uh, I'm Was, that asshole. Uh, we were just making money back then. Yeah, but you were making money off of the sweat, of blood, and tears of, of brothers wickedly. Right. Ex giving them sack there. That was a, that, like, the, like the Elder Gabar said, extortion. extortion. You were extorting brothers. And they, and they, didn't, they didn't bring you up on council. They didn't say anything because they, they really uh, believed back then that you were men of the Lord. And then Lahab, I got to say this, Lahab was, a, he was skating past that judgment. Finally, that judgment came at, uh, uh, right, when, yeah, he was in uh, Sam's Club looking at a giant screen TV with some chick, and he was all into that TV. Yeah, baby, I think we're going to get this TV over here. And then he turned around, and who was, who was there? Elder Taha and, and, and the four of us, which made five of us. And then <laughs> Elder Taha gave him the thumbs down, and it was, it was all over then. Then he, he going to walk outside like a superhero, like he's a some black superhero, and, and, and what's this all about, guys? What's, what? And then from there he received this judgment, and then 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 finally out of his own mouth he said, "Then let the Most High deal with me." And the Most High is gonna deal with you, Lahab, you fucking phony. The Most High is gonna deal with you, and that bullshit you do you do. Um, you know what? That's only meant for people that's not in the truth anyway. You know, we got a brother. A brother sent me that video. Um, I'm not gonna mention his name. And then he put on the comment, he put this guy. So even that brother, and he's from another state, even that brother knows that you're full of shit, Lahab, because he's, he's one of the elect. All right? Go on. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Right, because Lahab is allowed to do his evil. And that, what you're doing, Lahab, is an evil work. All right? Go on. Therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right, so he's, he's just, what does the word evil mean? A bad time. He's just going to continue. Now, the scripture have said evil men uh, and seducers shall wax worse and worse. All right? So the doctrine that Lahab is teaching is, is, is worse, is waxing worse and worse, just like the scripture said. All right, let's go back to, um, oh, let's, okay, bring it up. Uh, Matthew chapter 18, verse 7. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs that be that offenses come. Yeah, and that's Lahab. He's, he's. He's the offense. Go on. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. And he's that man. And the word woe means destruction. Watch what the Lord going to do to his, his, his black ass. And the reason why you can't see his face on the videos is that he must look like 50 miles of bad road, man. He must look like hell, man. That's why you can't see it. If he really believed in what he was teaching, why you can't see his face? Even in Esau's law, you have the right to see your accusers. We can't even see that bastard, man. <laughs> He's hiding behind the screen. We ain't hiding. We right here. You can see our faces. And we ain't wearing shades a lot. That's another thing with these guys. And Elder Marshall, years ago, he said, look, when you go up to teach, don't be wearing no shades. You had a lot of them guys that were wearing them Star Trek shades, thinking like they're some Hollywood uh, superstar. Go on. Uh, Matthew chapter 13, verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which you see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which you hear, and have not heard them. Okay, so now let's go to the, now we're going to go to the explanation of the parable that uh, Elder um, Aramlab read. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. And we've seen uh, evidence of that in the camp. Like you might have a guy locked in, 
and uh, you're teaching them, right? Now, I know you brothers in the other camps, I know you've seen that. You might have a guy locked in and heck him another guy, and he whisper something to him or he say something to him, and all of a sudden the guy he was teaching, all of a sudden his old mind is corrupted. Well, he's that one. Read that again. It says, When one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which is sown in his heart. So he's that guy. All right? Go on. This is he which receives seed by the wayside. By the wayside. What is that? What is another term for the wayside? Being out there on the streets. That shows you right there you got to be out in the streets to teach the word. What does that mean, by the wayside? Go on. But he that received the seed into stony places... The same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it. Now this is a guy who received the word or the understanding, and immediately he springs into action. All right, like it says, anon with joy receiveth it. All right, go on. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. And he hangs in there for a while. Might be a year, might be 